We wanted to welcome you to our webinar today, May 1st. Uh, probably do another webinar towards the end of May, but we wanted to start off May strong. We did webinar, one webinar in April on the Sync Prox, our new Bluetooth device, which we do have in stock and is shipping. It is an awesome product. We've gotten really good feedback. People really like it. So if you were at that webinar, or even if you weren't at that webinar, check out the Sync Prox, which is the webinar we did uh, beginning of April. I don't remember the exact date as we do have the product stocked on our shelves now shipping. It's really good. Today we're excited. First of all, it's Friday, and May 1st. And we're talking to you about the RAIN XRE, our wireless relay extender, which is a really good product that's been on the market now for about a year. Uh, we've had really good success with the product, and it fills a really good niche in the industry with uh, wireless technology that we feel is the best or one of the best wireless technologies in the with range, the ability to break through obstructions, and reliability, which is the things that people want with wireless. And something, something in the industry before is that wireless was really not that reliable. And so to have your guys install a wireless device might save you time initially, but then all of the return calls that you had to go do ended up costing you way more money than if you would have originally pulled a wire. With our wireless technology in our RAIN line of products, we have eliminated that issue as much as physically possible with when it comes to wireless. This is an extremely reliable product. It has backups and check-ins to allow for automatic fixes, which is really good, especially when you're talking about wireless. And the range and the ability to break through obstructions is industry leading. So we're excited to talk to you about that uh, today. This will be a pretty quick webinar because Although this device, what we've done with this device is it fills a lot of areas that could be uh, stressful for you on jobs or cost you a lot of money on jobs, it helps to solve those issues. But it's relatively simple to set up, to wire up, to configure, and to be done with. And that's the goal. The goal is always to make it so that you're on the job as little amount of time and that you don't have to go back. I probably say that every single webinar. So that's the goal today. The goal today is to make it so that you understand this. Uh, at a high altitude, you can feel comfortable enough uh, quoting it on jobs or using it on calls where you know running wires is not an option or is either too expensive. Okay, so that's the goal. One thing I do got to say is I'm a little bit down in the dumps today because I got a back view of my head in the camera before we started this, and I'm balding. I didn't know this till this very moment today, May 1st, 2020. So my world's been rocked a little bit. I'm trying to deal with it and put on a performance. I feel pretty good right now, but if you see me kind of starting to go down, that's why. Because every now and again, I'll catch a glimpse of myself in the TV, and wow, wow, I'm lucky my wife loves me. So, okay, here we go. Let's jump into this. So, uh, the Rain XRE relay extender is built to extend relays wirelessly at extreme distances and through extreme obstructions. That's the goal. We are passing both an input and an output of a relay. So a uh, example of when this would be used. Let's say you have a telephone entry on a property. And again, this is one example of a thousand different scenarios that you could use this product on. Let's say you have a telephone entry on a property connected hard wire to a gate operator. Something happens to the wire. We know this is common. Landscapers dig it up, pavers, something happens, whatever may happen. And the relay control wire from the telephone entry or keypad, or whatever it may be, is damaged. And it will no longer trigger at the gate operator because the wire has been cut, whatever it may be. You can take the RAIN XRE, and these are both RAIN XREs. We do not define which one is the sending unit and which one is the receiving unit. They're both the exact same. So it doesn't matter which one you use. The RAIN XRE 100s give you the ability to put one of these at the telephone entry and wire it to the output of the telephone entry, okay? So you would wire the telephone entry relay output to our yellow terminals. Yellow is our input. That means where we are receiving the output from whatever device the wire's been damaged on. And then you're gonna take the other device and you're gonna wire up our output, the blue terminals, to whatever you are triggering, which in this scenario is the gate operator because the wire's been damaged. Yellow is input, blue is output. We've made it pretty easy to understand, and that's all shown in the manual. We're using orange right here just simply because 
we've got some connections to be able to show you how this works. But this would typically be yellow, just like this over here. And then you've got the different colors there. Okay? So now what you're doing is when the telephone entry at this unit, let's say they type in a PIN code or they call somebody and they activate the relay to trigger the gate operator, outputs into our device, our device's input, our device is then sending that wireless signal to the, the, what we call the secondary device or the node at the gate operator and is acting as if there was a hard wire there. It is passing the relay control for any device wirelessly. The range, it's range as we know is something that really can be job specific, but we are comfortable saying you're going to get between a quarter of a mile to half a mile through very extreme obstructions. Line of sight, which there is never anything that is pure line of sight, we have tested it between 30 to 40 miles. So the range is really, really good. But the more important thing than the line of sight is through, the, through obstruction, through buildings, trees, landscape, whatever it may be, we can confidently say you're going to get a quarter of a mile to half a mile. Now, we, I could easily say you're going to get a mile. I could easily say you're going to get half a mile. But we want to be conservative. Just know that the, wirelessly t the wireless technology that we use is one of the best in the industry. And if you haven't tried it or used it, I promise you when you do, you will be blown away. And uh, you'll be really happy with the way that it works. Okay? So that's the scenario that you're going to use this product in. And again, it doesn't, there's a million different scenarios, and I can't obviously go through every single one of them. But the purpose of this device is to pass what relay from one d device to trigger another device. Keypad, telephone entry to a gate operator, Maybe if you have a fire panel inside a building that when the fire alarm triggers, you want it to open the front gate and there's not a hard wire connection there. You can do that. There's a million different applications you can do. Just know that we're passing relay, relay wirelessly from one device to the other to control the devices where hard wire is either too expensive, not an option, or the wires have been damaged and you can't re-pull wire. So let's go ahead and break down uh, what components are on the board. And to do that, we'll jump over to uh, the computer here where we'll be able to show you the manual. Okay, so I'm going to step over here. Okay, so I'm going to just go into our products. Touch screen's not working. Technical difficulties. Our products. Scroll down to rain. You can see we have a, a vi little explainer video, and then we're going to go to the relay extender, downloads, and the manual. Okay, so I could show you this on the product, and I will show you on the product. Let's see if the touch screen's working. Nope, still not working. But I just want to show it to you the manual as well. And if you're next to a computer, it might be easier just to uh, open up a browser and pull this up, so you don't have to look through the camera. <coughs> But what we've done is we've laid out the board with color-coded terminals, so if you call in with tech support, uh, we can more easily help you out. Uh, it's just, it, it's, it's really, it makes it really simple for our tech support to say what color terminal are you plugged into or plug into this color terminal. So let's start with the LED lights. We have four LED lights on the left-hand side and then another four on the right-hand side. The four on the left-hand side are go in this order, green, red, yellow, and orange. Green is a receive light when this transmission is sent, and I'll show you all this in real time. Red is a transmit light for when our input closes and sends a signal. Stat yellow is status or program light, uh, which is used for programming, but also is uh, our units are checking in with themselves every 15 seconds so that if something was missed or something is changed, that they automatically fix themselves after 15 seconds. They're always checking in every 15 seconds to make sure they're doing, uh, they're in the right state. Open, closed, whatever it may be, we want to make sure they're in the right state. And orange is run, and that light constantly blinks. And again, that's just an indicator that if you come to a, a job site where they're saying there's having issues, you can check that run light, and if it's blinking, that means that the microprocessor on board is working. The four lights off to the right are uh, three oranges and one green. The green light is when you were using the back battery backup. And the three oranges are, again, just another diagnostic so you can see that the power is working properly on the device. If any one of those devices, if any one of those orange LED lights is not on, then there is something wrong with the power, something has been burned up, something like that. So we tried to give you a lot of LED lights to be able to diagnose what's going on. Uh, the yellow, as I mentioned before, is a relay input. 
where you're going to wire from whatever the device is, telephone entry, keypad, fire alarm panel, into this, and then the output are our blue terminals. We have two relays, <coughs> two input and output relays on this device, so you can do two doors, two telephone entries, two gate operators, operators whatever it may be. Uh, but yellow is an input, blue is an output. So for every time you wire into a yellow, your corresponding output is a blue right here on that side, and I'll show you how those work, okay? We have orange terminal is battery backup, red terminal is your main power, and this will do 12 through 24 volt AC or DC, which makes it nice and easy to get power. And then we have gray. Gray right here is an alert relay output. This allows you to track if you haven't wired up for it to be able to see if there's been a fault. Someone's cut the wire, someone's grounded the wire. This is going to be for applications where it's pretty high security and you need to know that the system is operating and working properly. But we do have that ability to do that. And then we could even go into more detail where we, we can flash a strobe light or something like that. Again, this isn't used often, but it's a great feature for when you need it an alert input and an alert relay output so that you're able to, to see uh, what's going on and if something's gone wrong with the system, you can wire it up to some sort of device to let you know. Okay, and that's really all, all of the wires. In the top, or excuse me, all of the wire inputs. On the top right hand corner, we have a program or test button. These devices do not come paired. So when you get them, all you have to do is turn on dip switch one, which is in the top left hand corner, of both devices, and then on one of the devices, press the program test button, which you can see in the top right-hand corner, okay? It's gonna go through a series of blinks, and then they're communicating, you turn dip switch one off in both devices, and now you're in normal operation, okay? Dip switches two, three, four, five, and six, uh, are three is used if you're using the alert relay, four is used for another feature of the alert relay, relay. none of the rest are used. And the potentiometer right under the program test button is not used when you're using the setup we're talking about today, XRE to XRE. That is used if you're using our handheld transmitter to adjust the relay time. You do not need that when using XRE to XRE because they're, they're doing whatever the other one is telling them to do. If, if the XRE connected to your telephone entry or keypad or whatever it is is, is holding on the, tel the relay on the telephone entry is holding, then we are holding on the output on the other side. We are mimicking completely whatever the device is doing, uh, the controlling device is doing. We send that wireless signal and are either latching, momentary, whatever it's telling us to do. Okay? So it's very basic. Let's jump back and show you on the actual device so you can see it working in real time. <coughs> Excuse me. That's why we have, uh, we've set up a little test scenario here where we've wired up just some toggle switches to our relay inputs on this device and then toggle switches to our relay input on this device and they're going to just be talking back and forth and you'll see, you'll be able to see by an LED indicator that which relay is triggered corresponding to the blue uh, output terminal, relay output terminal. Just a quick uh, just a quick reminder of these LED lights, you can see the run light on both of these is blinking orange. That means it, everything is normal. And we have our three orange LEDs on the right-hand side. That means everything with the power on this device is good. Okay, so that's just a quick indicator what's going on. All of our dip switches are off because I pre-programmed these before this webinar, turning the dip switches, dip switch one on, dip switch one on, and pressing the program test button on one device and it syncs them up, then I turn them all off, okay? Now, uh, we've got, I've got 12 volt DC. An important thing to know, this device, ha each device has to have at least one amp of power. So I have 12 volt DC, one amp on both of these. 12 volt DC, one amp, 12 volt DC, one amp. That's the power that it takes in order for us to get the extreme range that we tell and that we talk about. And again, it is, the wireless technology is amazing. You'll be blown away if you haven't used it. Uh, okay, so we've got it wired up. Again, you've got your orange run lights. You will see periodically the status light blink <coughs> and the test and the, the send, transmit, and receive lights blink. What that's doing is, like I mentioned earlier, it's checking in to make sure that these are in the right state. So <coughs> let's say you had these on and there was, uh, you had this on a telephone entry and this on a gate operator 
and the telephone entry was on an automatic unlock time. Say it opened at 8 a.m. So our device sent a signal at 8 a.m. when the telephone entry relay triggered input, and it sent it here, and this is holding latched open. I'll mimic that. Okay. You can see the relay with that green LED is latched open. That's good. That's what it's supposed to be doing because the telephone entry is telling our device latch. This gate needs to be held open until 5 p.m. Let's say it's 1 <coughs> and power goes out at the gate operator. Okay, so we lose power at the gate operator. I'll just go ahead and show you this. We've lost power at the gate operator, but and we'll restore power. Okay, so you'll notice it synced up. It was part of, it was in its 15 second sync up right after I powered it up and the relay came back on because it's automatically fixing itself. What, what happens on a lot of systems is if this powers down, down and then powers back up, it doesn't ever check back in to know what it's supposed to be doing even though this side, the telephone entry is still saying, hey, this gate should be open because it's not 5 p.m. yet. So our system is checking in every 15 seconds to make sure it's in the right state, okay? And then I've gone ahead and turned it off. I can do relay one. You can see the green LED. Turn it off. And you can see it's, it's very, very quick. And I'll do both of these too. Okay? So this device is, I mean, it's just very simple to use. Uh, it's very, I mean, it is robust. It does a lot of stuff, but most people don't use it for that because most jobs just have a broken wire somewhere that they need to fix. And this is a really simple way to fix those wires or to get creative. Like I said, there are some people and it depends on the code that uh, will take a fire alarm panel and they want the gate to automatically open if the fire alarm panel triggers. And so they'll send a signal wirelessly with this to the, to the gate and the gate opens so the fire department can get in again. That's up to the, your local code, but it's just another scenario where these can be used. Okay, so these devices do not come paired. You pair them in the field, which also means that if one of them goes bad, you can take it you can take just one out. You don't have to replace both of them. You can just replace one, saving you money. Then when you get the new one in the field, you'll put them in pair mode, pair them up, and you're ready to go. I can tell you that our, our devices are, from what I've seen, the least expensive devices on the market, uh, which is really good. They're very, very affordable, and most of the time, uh, the other options of laying wire or retrenching is very, very expensive. Like I say in every webinar, the cost of these will blow you away because they're so affordable and the solutions and the, uh, the problem solving that they give you uh, is just next, next to none. It's, it's a really, really nice product. So this is the Rain XRE100, super simple to use. We'll just go over one more time. Yellow is the relay input, there are two of them. Black is the alert relay. Blue is the relay outputs, two of those. Red is power, orange is uh, battery backup, and that's it. Super simple. So any questions that I can answer? Sorry, I went through that pretty quick and didn't ever stop to ask if we could answer questions, but I'm, I'm sensitive to your guys' time. I want you to be able to get back to doing your thing, especially on a Friday. Any questions? What we'll do, we'll wait around here uh, and we'll look at the monitors. Please ask us any questions and we'll do our best. Uh, like I say every time, if I don't know the answer, I'll just straight up lie. Again, that's a joke. I just have to preface. That's a joke. That's a joke. I wouldn't lie. I'd really find the answer. So. We'll wait around for a little while and we'll answer your questions. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks for attending. And look for another email for another webinar towards the end of this month, beginning of next month. Thank you.